Help, I accidentally bought more Pokemon cards. Best Buy had some sales on some Pokemon cards for their equivalent of Amazon Prime Day, I suppose. And Crown Zenith boxes were $10 off, so these were 40 bucks. So I had to get two because you guys know I need to get that gold. Not buying it, I need to pull it. Otherwise, what's what's the point of life at this point? So let's get to cracking. Oh, before we do that, new space. I'm back in a whole studio. I'm not recording in my living room anymore. We actually have a whole separate bedroom. Here's a little preview of what's going to be decorated with. Uh, there's still a lot to unpack and a lot to decorate with. Uh, so in the near future, I'll give you a little studio tour of where the magic happens. Otherwise, let's get to cracking again. We have 20 packs here. We're gonna mix it all up. And we're gonna see which one has the gold and one fell off the test. Okay. And we have this pretty pile here, it's very organized. And let's get to cracking the pack number one. It's gonna be first pack magic and I can already smell it. I'm gonna say it's gonna be Dialga. It's gonna be that gold Dialga. All right. One, two, three, four, one, two. Now, if this isn't the gold dialga, I will sell my YouTube channel. Steel Energy, Carnivine, Giraffe Rig, Energy Switch, Toxtricity, and Hop. I'm selling my channel. Sorry, guys, the video ends here. <laughs> All right, so we got, I'd consider Hop a hit. So we got two hits so far. First pack magic is looking pretty hot. Now off to the second one. Now, normally I upload videos every Monday, but if you keep in touch through my community tab, I did say that I was moving and, or through my past videos too, that I was moving. And I was not smart enough to plan ahead of my move and I was unable to schedule any more videos further out simply because I just didn't have enough time and it was a bit difficult to do so at the moment. So now I'm here back in the studio and uh, getting back to the grind. Now I, my upload schedules that might change from Mondays might change to another day maybe a Tuesday maybe back to Sundays who knows it there's really no algorithm for me on the channel. All right, we got Ponyard, Whalmer, Pokeball, Corefish, Fire Energy, Electric, Lost Vacuum, Great Ball, Altaria, and Bead. All right, we got another illustration card and, or I get it's an illustration rare, is that the term? And another signature card. We got two hits, and I don't think I have Toxtricity either. Pretty sure Coral has that one. All right, this is the fourth pack out of the 20. Now in uh, this, oh, I saw something. In this, in this previous Crown Zenith video, I opened up some product and obviously chasing for the gold and here we are trying again. Didn't get much. Those tins, I love them to death, but I didn't get much. Oh, hey, Grant, which we got in that last video. And we got a nice hollow water energy. Okay, you know, I'm getting hits. I can't be too mad about it, but it's not what we're looking for. And usually those tins do me justice. And whenever I buy ETBs, I usually struggle with those pulls. Um, at least with Crown Zenith, I always pull the Turtwig. Uh, this Turtwig specifically. And I haven't ran into that in a while, but I did pull a Riolu. So those, those cards might be haunting me a little bit. Okay, we got Bidoof, Salandit, Purloin, Rubbin, Skrelp, Energy, Lost Vacuum, Another Electric, Ultra Ball, Paris, and Mewtwo. Okay, here we are. So this is what I mentioned, like 
this whole like little group of cards, they seem to follow me around. I have tons of Bidoofs, and um, they, they all went in my trade binders, and because Bidoof is like playable for like modern decks nowadays, he's always gone in my trade binder. Um, I usually give him away for like, for free pretty much. They're like, oh, I need this Bidoof card, can I have it? Oh, what do you want to trade for it? And usually, um, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, the, the cards they have in their trade binder, they either don't have like a card for their trade binder, or like, it's not something up to like a fair trade. I, that, that's all right for me, just take my view. It's, it's literally okay. Hey, Manaphy, okay. Pretty sure I don't have this one. And this is also very playable. Um, Cause Manaphy's not out of rotation yet. So it protects your bench uh, from attacks. And I've been using uh, Jirachi and he's all right, but um, Manaphy is more of a better card. Because I believe it's the, the type of attacks. Because this is all damage. And Jirachi, I believe, is a counter. Counter prevention. Okay. I don't even know how many hits we have. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits out of how many packs? I lost count already. Alright, guys. So, Crown Zenith. Last series in Sword and Shield. By far one of my most favorite because you can get so many pulls from this set. There's so many cool cards. So what's your favorite Crown Zenith card? Mine? Ooh. I really like the Electivire and the Magmortars cards, like side by side. Because it just tells a nice little story of like a couple a couple of dudes, a couple of buds just hanging out and showing each other cool tricks. I mean, aside from that, you know, those gold cards are pretty cool. I don't have a whole lot of gold cards myself, so that's the, the, that's also a reason why I want some. No nicer looking gold cards like those. Electric energy, very nice. Literally, I'm still chasing that high coral god, and I think it was my second ever video on the channel or something like that. Ridiculous. So let me tell you about this move I did. So Coral was out at Anime Expo and I was back home by myself moving these boxes to our new place. And we hired movers to move all the heavy furniture and I, I was bold enough to think that I could move everything else by myself. Like I'm talking like lots of small boxes and I did. I did do it over the course of like four days, and it was during the middle of a heat wave here in uh, Washington State. So that was a very poor planning choice by me, because man, it was hot. I was sweating from morning till night, and my legs got a real workout. I've I've been avoiding the gym because of moving. I've been getting my workout just going up and down those stairs and lifting those medium to heavy boxes. Radiant Charger Bug. Talk about another card that haunts me. Um, so yeah, I've, I've just been busy moving and unpacking stuff like the past three weeks. And of course, um, I, I, I had to pack up all my Pokemon cards and I kind of lost track where they were up until like two days ago. And I finally got it all sorted out, but you know, I'm, I'm at the point where I don't think I need my bulk. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and probably slap those back into storage and start new and focus on buying single cards for my next deck that I'm gonna try to run, which is um, maybe like a Raging Bolt Ogre Pond. I, in, in my next vlog, I haven't edited it yet. Edited? I haven't edited it yet. Ugh. Tongue twister. Say that ten times fast. I haven't, I haven't worked on it yet, but I went to play uh, regionals, and everyone was playing what won the North American International Championships, which was Gardevoir. There were so many Gardevoir decks. I, oh, I felt like the whole like Lost Box is everywhere situation all over again. Gardevoir is a, a solid deck, and it. The, the thing with that deck is it 
it's like a, a single prize card heavy deck. So if you're like using a bruiser deck, like let's say um, Charizard, um, you're gonna be take. It's gonna take a while to knock out all their Pokemon unless you have like an Iron Hands to take two prize cards at once. And um, I see something at the end. Friends in Sinnoh, Gloom, Ultra Ball. Oh! I called it! The Dialga! Let's go! And Zero Aura B. I'm pretty sure I don't have this one either. I have like 15 Zero Aura Bs. I don't think I have this design. I got the gold, guys. I can die happy now. Crown Zenith is dead to me. I'm not opening these packs. Oh my goodness, look at that. Star Kronos, look how many energy you have to do. Five energy? Take another turn after this one? Oh my gosh, that's a, that's kind of a crazy move. I, now I get why people like to play Dialga for decks, but I've never faced Dialga where they use this V-Star power against me. Wow. What do I do now? I'm at a loss. Well, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next week. Is it Arceus or Arceus? Because I swear when I was watching the show when I was younger, they pronounced it as Arceus, Legend, Legends of Arceus. Um, I could be gaslighting myself. Yeah, I, I tend to do that. Or I just lie to myself all the time and think, uh, think something was right. It's like the, what's it, Mandela effect? Or what? Where you, where you think it, you say something where it's like said a different way like oh yeah Berenstein or yeah what was Berenstein the fair Berenstein and Berenstein anyways everyone calls them the Berenstein bears Berenstein bears but, but it's the Berenstein bears. Bears. bears gotcha okay Executor and Calyrex alrighty we have how many let's do a pack check in how many packs we got left One, two, three, four, five, six. Six packs. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. Six packs. You know what they say. Yep. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, gosh. One, two. And we'll take that V Star marker out. Sun Kern. Coughing. B Doof. Salandit. Purloin, Luxio, Lost Vacuum, Electric, Oracorio, and Mewtwo. All right, Oracorio. Like that. This is going to fill up my trade binder quite nicely. I'm pretty sure my trade binder is also full of cards because um, <laughs> I've gotten a few comments where are like, oh, your trade binder is cool. It's great for the kids. Um, and I guess people are trying to fill up their collection. I have like no competitive cards in there. Well, I, I do have a few, but like, nothing that's really sought after. <laughs> or no really like cool cards people would want to trade for, because all my cooler cards are in my regular binder, which I refuse to put away into my trade binder. Zacian V, and I think I pulled this one when I was in Ohio, and we got a fire energy. Or I might've pulled this one in my life. I don't, I, I pulled this one recently in one of my videos. Awesome. We got like three energies too. Okay. Okay. And we got four packs left. Boom. Boom. Now if um, Scarlet and Violet does something to Crown Zenith where they, like, they just do like crazy pulls and all these illustrated rare cards, that would be and with Scarlet and Violet, um, as of this recording, there's like two sets that are coming out pretty soon. And wait, I just realized something. Uh, 
I didn't know there was like a textured hollow and a non-textured hollow because on this one there's like a the water energy symbol in the back. I don't think you guys can see that. Yeah, right, right there. This one doesn't have it. I did not know that was a thing. And it's numbered. It's numbered at the bottom. Okay, well, I, ne I guess I never really observed that. All right. So I, I believe the next sets are Shrouded Fable and oh, this one on the screen. I have no idea what's in either set. And with Twilight Masquerade, I think I'm somewhat done in buying like a ton of cards for it because I pulled Perrin, like literally first ever set I bought from there during regionals. So I'm good, I'm solid. Unless I get Greninja, I'll passively buy the cards. <gasps> Ooh, double whammy. I got Cynthia's Ambition and Duraludon VMAX. I think I have like the full art version of Cynthia's Ambition here. Now look at me. I'm getting all the cards from these crowns and packs. Thank you, Best Buy. All right, two more. Two more packs. Coral is sitting over in the backseat over there. Go ahead and choose a choose a pack. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, I'm gonna shuffle it for you. Alright. Nice pack magic. I'll let Coral open first off camera. We got Grubbin, Screlp, Helioptile, Wooloo, Shinx, Grass Energy, Ultra Ball. Girafferig, Pinchurchin, Aaron, and Luxray. Womp womp. Sorry, Coral. No pulls for you. And what do I get? I'm gonna say Arceus, Rockruff, Tangela, 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 Tangle. Huh? Another bear is tan Tangela? Tangela. I think it's Tangela. It's like a tank. It's all tangled up. Yeah. And also, I also remember from the anime, I'm pretty sure they pronounce it Tangela. Ball Toy, Meowth, Energy Retrieval, Fighting Energy, Metang, Digging Duo, Graveler, Raihan, Full Art, and Stoutland V. Big Dog. Have you guys seen that Sun and Moon episode? <laughs> with um, Linton and Stoutland. If you know, you know. Actually, yeah, I won't tell you about it. Go ahead and watch that, find that episode with Linton and Stoutland. You will bawl your eyes out. Love this card. The reason why I love Raihan, obviously he's a brown person, you know, representation. Also, he's a dragon type trainer, which are super cool. And our bearded dragon, we named her after Raihan. Um, yeah, it's as simple as that. All right, the to recap. Big Dog, Dragon Trainer. We have how many energies? We have two textured energies in the water, fire, two hollow in water and electric. Two signature cards, bead and hop. You know what my favorite? That's before I continue, my favorite thing to see in decks is like cards like Hop or like Nomona where you just draw three cards. They're so simple and they're so helpful. And whenever you see like a meta player throw these in there, it's just so fun to see. It's like, why do you have that in there? They like what they like. Anyways, Cynthia's Ambition, Duraludon VMAX, Zacian V, Zeraora V, Oricorio, Radiant Charger Bug, Manaphy, Paris, Grant, Altaria, Toxtricity, and the Crown Jewel, the Golden Jewel, the Mall, Dialga V Star. Origin form, Dialga V Star. All right, guys, Crown Zenith. I love this set. I, what'd I say, guys? Finally did it. I pulled the gold. Now I could die happy. I am a little bummed that I don't have other gold cards, but I'm more dissatisfied. I'm, I'm like completely more satisfied. I'm completely okay with just getting one gold card. 
I still will buy Crown Zenith Sealed in the hopes I do pull gold or more cool cards that they have there. <sighs> Man, this is beautiful. This is so nice. This is a win. I needed a good win on the channel. Because my last win was like last month. A whole month without a, like a great pull. Ridiculous. I need a pull like every day. These are Pokemon cards. This is an addiction. Who are we kidding ourselves? If you've enjoyed this video, this pack opening, me spending and wasting my money on Pokemon deals, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content in the future. And leave a comment down below. What are your thoughts? Do you like the Dialga card? Do you prefer Palkia, Arceus, Giratina? Let me know. With that being said, my name is Kevin TCG. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna go back to our regular, regular, regularly scheduled programming of uh, weekly uploads now or very soon. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.